Hi, I'm Ilya Merman, Head of Marketing at Desktop Metal, and today I want to talk a little bit about low volume manufacturing and 3D printing. Turns out 3D printing is a great application for some low volume uh, manufacturing applications. There's three popular use cases. The first application is when you have low volume specialized applications. For example, packaging machinery of which uh, there may be 50 to 100 units shipped in a year. This is a motor mount for a NEMA motor that's going to go uh, onto a custom packaging machinery of which about 50 to 100 units are going to be manufactured in a year. Uh, it's useful during the prototyping phase to, uh, s uh, for sizing different motors to, to be able to quickly create several of these mounts. And then when it's manufactured at a rate of about 50 or 100 units a year, um, it doesn't really justify any sort of a casting or a high volume manufacturing processes. So this part most likely would be machined and it turns out even though the geometry may look relatively simple, it'll actually require several CNC setups. Um, so a part like this lends itself great for 3D printing. Another popular application is aftermarket parts, where you often have the original uh, production line shut down or it's very expensive to start it up again given the cost of maintaining tooling. And quite often for many pieces of capital equipment, you have a situation where you have a service level agreement, an SLA to maintain uh, potentially thousands or tens of thousands of replacement parts at multiple locations around the world when they wear out. Quite often these replacement parts are needed at the rate of maybe 10 or 20 a month. So really you're talking about a couple hundred a year kind of production volumes. Really not something you want to start up and stop a production line for. Here's an example. Uh, this is a replacement gear for a vintage lathe. It's an 80 year old lathe. The original gear broke. Uh, there was no obvious supply for replacement parts. There was no CAD file. The engineer designed up the part and printed it and a couple days later we have the gear ready to go. The alternative of having a gear maker make it would have both been long in terms of lead time and an order of magnitude more expensive. Think about like $500 or more versus something like 50 bucks. A third popular use case for low volume production is pilot runs prior to mass production. Quite often before you're ready to commit to hard tooling, you need to do a pilot run of somewhere on the order of 100 to 1,000 pieces for engineering testing, market testing, certification, localization. So here's such an example. This is a flexure for a motion control system. Flexure is an engineering component designed to have a predictable amount of compliance built in. This flexure is designed to allow a ball screw in a motion stage to be slightly askew so that when one moves relative to the other, there's not binding or excessive wear. The complex geometry here makes machining or uh, water jet cutting, EDM, uh, both complex and expensive. But with 3D printing, the complexity is free. So this is a relatively easy part to print, print in volume for the first 100 to 1,000 pieces. Everyone knows that 3D printing is great for functional prototyping, but as you can see, it is also great for pilot production. For more information on the studio system, please check out desktopmetal.com.